Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Selene from SMP Maria Mediatrix Semarang. Today, I will tell you a story about Anda Dewi. So, let's get on to the story. Long time ago, in East Java, there stood three kingdoms. They are Jenggala and Kediri. The kingdoms were once united under Kahuripan Kingdom. To avoid war, the kingdom decided to reunite through a marriage of the king's children. They were Raden Panja Aswarabangun and Dewi Sekartaji. One day, Jenggala was attacked by a large number of people. When the war broke out, Dewi Sekartaji ran away as fast as she could and she hid out in a desolated village. There, she met a wealthy widow called Nyai Intan. Nyai Intan had three beautiful daughters. They are Klenting Abang, Klenting Ijo, and Klenting Biru. Then, Nyai Intan took the Sekretaji as her child and gave her name Klenting Kuning. Klenting Kuning, as a good girl, you must do all the housekeeping and cooking in the house while I and my lovely daughter will go out to the market. Bye! Say Nyai Inna. Klenting Kuning was more like a servant than a child. Nyai Inna and her daughters often scold her and treated her badly. <sighs> in the meantime, in Jindala, Raden Pandis Asmarabangun and his soldier were looking for his wife, Dewi Sekartaji. Then, in one afternoon, a soldier came up to him. I have good news for you, your highness, said the man. Did you find anything? asked the prince. I saw a girl that looked like the princess, but I'm not sure yet if she was her because she was just a village girl who worked for a rich widow, said the man. Then, a few days later, the prince and the soldier decided to go to Gadapan, a village that is not far from where Kuning Kuning lived. Under the name of Anya Delumuts, he stayed in the modest house of an old widow named Bokorondo. Raden Panji Asmarabahu announced to the people that he was holding a contest to find a wife. Then, Kunting Abang, Kunting Ijo, and Kunting Biru were so happy to hear that they were willing to be beautiful as possible to win the prince's heart. Then, Kunting Abang said, We should always be look pretty, sister. Mother will be proud if one of us become a princess. They were willing to be beautiful and take the prince heart. Then on the new day, they were putting on their best dresses and jewelry. When they were put when they were putting their makeup, Kundi Kuning came up to them. Wow, sisters, you guys look so beautiful. Said Kunting Kuning. Ah, uh, hi Kunting Kuning. Do you want to go to the contest too? Asked Kunting Abba. Then Kunting Ijo mock. <laughs> That's unlikely. You don't even have a dress. You certainly can't go there. It's such a terrible look. You can't go to the contest. You better stay home than finish your job. Go, do the laundry. Shouted Kundi Biu while pointing at the pile of dirty clothes. Then Kundi Biu took the dirty clothes and went to a nearby river. Kundi Biu actually don't want to go to the contest because she loved her husband so much. But then suddenly, a bird approached her. And the bird talked like a human, and it grabbed a whip on its feet. Oh, princess, go, hurry, go to Dadaban, go to the contest. 
contest. There, you will meet your husband. Take this whip. You may need it, said the bird, putting the whip on a stone next to Kundikuni. After hearing that, Kundikuni rushed back home and she dressed up for the contest. By that time, Nyai Intan and her daughters already reached to the bank of Bernoma Solo, but they could not get across because the river is so deep and wide. Oh, mother, how can we get across? Ask Kundin Ijo. Ask Kundin Ijo.